times I feel, I don't know how I feel today, but I'm back with another video. I'm outside today because I'm waiting, waiting patiently on my package. So, it should be here in a couple hours. That's if it's on the truck that I'm thinking it's on. But if it ain't on that truck, it's going to be on another truck. And I don't fool with being out here to like 6 and 7 o'clock for what? Not waiting on no package. But, um, yeah, like I was saying yesterday, I had a lot of stuff to tell y'all. I had a lot of stuff online and stuff like that. seems like it's done got way way thicker than it did yesterday but um yeah yeah um it was it was so much stuff on my mind and then this morning before I woke up good I've been up four so I've been up for a few hours so it's like it's like dang uh like what is really going on like I've been up forever but it's cool because like I know I needed to wake up and come out here and you know just try to be up for whenever my package come or whatever but um yeah I was like I woke up and I just started to think about like all the stuff that's been happening like for the last maybe two weeks I want to say maybe a week two weeks like I don't know like it's been a minute but let's say the last two weeks because we ain't finna go all the way back <laughs> um, so when let me see yeah so when I woke up I was thinking about like God was putting in my head like different scenarios and different things that I'm going through now that I won't speak on um to the point of like you he was kind of saying like you you're worried about like these different aspects of people's lives of not wanting them to uh feel some type of way about you you not wanting um them to feel some type of way about about yourself and of how um things um uh, is just uh being played out like and he was like are you seeing like he's kind of like are you seeing the same thing i'm seeing because i was like in my head i was thinking like man like this is not the same like i don't know i feel like people put energy into what they want to put energy into so when it comes down to me um and i'm, I'm gonna get into like what i really want to talk about talk about yesterday but when it comes to me like uh I try to put like I try to put energy into something that like if I'm most interested or if I'm interested or if I'm just feeling like um you know cool whatever you know um I ain't got no problem with you know how um you know things are going like I'm a you know I'm gonna put energy into it if I feel like it's not draining me <laughs> so if it's not draining me if I feel like it's not draining me I'm gonna put energy into it like I have no problem with that but um I'm so I'm so I'm so wrapped up in actions so I'm looking for people to be like have the same actions that I would have or have the same actions that um 
you know, that I would give to them and you know, I'm not quite getting <laughs> getting it and I was I was speaking on it and I was like praying about it and you know, before I fell asleep and that's why the main reason why I woke up this morning and it kind of was like, well, you know your worth. <laughs> like, you know your worth about different things and different situ situations. So, um, why even, like, worry about it or, you know, like, it's, it's going to be what it is. Like, and I know I will for sure, like, for sure see, like, energy and how it's being um, made in this probably next couple of days because like yeah in these next couple of days I'm gonna fully see like where people's energy is and how people is like moving but even though right or wrong I'm a you know I'm gonna just you know I like dealing with people accordingly like I don't like if if it's in the wrong against me, yeah, fine, it's cool. Like, I don't have to, you know, you know, completely deal with it. But if it's in the right, that's even better. Like, that means, like, we can be on the same page with something. So, the fact that y'all know that if I come around and, like, and it's not strangers, it's not, it's not just strangers, it's not just... Um, people I'm just meeting, like, actually, I do kind of well with meeting new people now than I do, um, than I did, um, in my earlier years, because now, um, if I'm around new people, um, you know, I expect I put myself in that situation, even though I'm not, uh, um, I'm not an extrovert. I'm an introvert, so, like, I don't really do a lot of talking. So, the fact that you know that I'm in the back, as i always been, as i always been since a little kid, minding my own business, the fact that you want to call and speak on something that you don't know about is crazy to me. And nine times out of ten... I know you calling just to be nosy so the so the fact that you calling just to be nosy should tell you that my relationships my relationship with God must be immaculate because he is working stuff out I ain't got to call you and tell you my problems so he must be doing something right our relationship must be must be um the most amazing thing you you should be speaking on because it doesn't if it wasn't I mean maybe you'll be the one I call maybe maybe I would have just called you and seen I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but maybe I would have called you if if it wasn't like going straight or going right or stuff like that and if i didn't call you i don't have to i don't have to because at the end of the day it'll work itself out no matter if if it's going right in my life or wrong in my life or i'm making these moves and making that moves it it shouldn't matter to you long as I'm happy and long as I'm doing well. My bad. Um, I'm waiting on this package, but I can go in the car and um, charge my phone. I just need to find like a stick pen or something. I got one in my head. I got a bobby pen. Um, yeah, so y'all, that, that whole conversation was really crazy to me because I'm like you ain't have to you ain't have to bring me up in a conversation at all like that was something you was supposed to be celebrating and you worried about me like I understand like the worry and stuff 
because I don't say nothing, but like you should be praying instead of making assumptions and all that other type of stuff. I don't, I don't even be on because I wanna, because I wanna ask you or told you what you need to be doing in certain situations when it had nothing to do, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I should just be praying for you and going on about my business. That's that's just that's just my life now. Like I I pray for people and you know it it goes whatever way whatever way it goes it goes. I can't do nothing else. But um I don't know. Like it's just so much like a couple of days over a couple of days from what Thursday yeah Thursday Friday Saturdays Saturday and then Saturday all did with this the power was still out till like a good five o'clock then power came back on so um yeah it was it was a lot um, yeah, today I'm still waiting on this package, y'all. Hopefully it comes soon. Let's move to the car, though. Uh, let me get through this, but, um, so I can just wait on this package and then... Once the package come, I can be done sent like some of this footage over and um be able to um have more footage once the package get here and stuff like that. Well, have more space. But yeah, um I feel like I feel look different today. I don't look cute no more. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my hair cuz I laid on it. And this one got real, real puffy. I should have bra braided it down or twisted it down last night, but I didn't. But, um, <laughs> I, like, I feel different today. Um, uh, maybe. Maybe because of some of the situations that happened yesterday and all that stuff. So, I, maybe I was just, I'm just in thoughts of that in what happened but um yeah so um yeah like i was talking about the tornadoes and how i really didn't have much fear and like like i didn't go to like the little shelter or wherever you know they hide out i just said a prayer and, um, I did take cover when, like, the sirens were going out, because, um, nine times out of ten, when, when it even say tornado, it's gonna hit somewhere close, or it, like, just bounces, like, all over this city. I don't, I don't, um, I don't get, I do get it, but I don't, it's just terrible, like, it's just a magnet for it, but, yeah, so, I was blessed to, you know, be able to, well, I didn't even go to sleep after that. I was up for the rest of the freaking morning, then the power was off, so then I was taking naps on and off throughout that the, uh, Saturday, but, yeah, I have no fear in, you know, like, that type of stuff, but, little confession, um, this thing about rebuilding, um, I don't want to say it's a start over, but just rebuilding and finding myself and getting to know, like, everything about me as a person who is not in their teens or early 20s anymore because I'm almost 30 like um is is this rebuilding thing is really a fear of mine and it's because 
and I'm not, you know, I fear saying it out loud because, like, I already felt attacked to attacked for trying to rebuild and, you know, just move on from all all everything of the past, you know. So it is hard because. I do not, do not want to, but I am for to make some phone calls, but I do, <laughs> I, I do not want to do anything wrong in my rebuilding process, and I feel like I'm a, I'm a make some mistakes, and I don't want to start all the way over rebuilding, like I cannot let. I have to remember what happened in the past. I have to. I I have to remember what happened in the past and I have to remember just um like the certain things that I've been through because like I do not I do not want to have to have God be like oh that ain't that ain't what I told you to do and then all of a sudden I'm just starting all the way back over with trying to move in a way to where I am not because like once 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 you move without having um God in your situation is just like you're wasting time and <laughs> like I said I'm almost 30 like I cannot be wasting any more time that even though I know God will like continually give it back to me I have no no time to be wasted like I want to do the right thing and I want to stay on the right path as much as possible as much as possible um um so it's it's hard because it's I just it's like yo you you gotta get your um self um together to understand that you got you got to uh you got to like I have to I have to um do this rebuilding process and it's so important to me that I'm kind of like going on basically airplane mode let's say that I'm going on airplane mode to where I see and hear people, but I'm trying to make myself the main focus. And I I feel kind of selfish for that because I'm like, I feel it's, I don't know what's going on with the phone today. It's acting crazy, but I feel selfish for, um, Yeah, I feel selfish for that because I'm like, dang, um, I'm not trying to be like, oh, well, I need to focus, well, yeah, I am trying to be like, I need to focus on me, but I'm not trying to be so mean about it or have people thinking like, well, dang, she, she just like completely just disappeared um but I don't know it's just important for me to make make the right steps into where I'm going and into what I need to be doing but also I'm trying to maintain different things and trying to completely and fully understand like what's 
been happening and what I need to be doing different and just praying about a lot of stuff like um honestly I just been praying about a lot of stuff and that's it like I have to I ain't got no choice I have no choice but yeah um this rebuilding process for me is crucial I don't I don't want to to be in a situation to be like okay God just <laughs> give me another chance let me let me go ahead pick pick up pick up some pieces put them together and then you know I'm headed out <laughs> um to start over again to you know like rebuild it is is that is the toughest thing toughest thing ever but it is what i need to do what i need to accomplish now back to um back to um christmas um yeah i I got a tree and stuff, and I really don't want you to put me in a box of decorating and cleaning my house, and you know those kind that like I love to see it, love to see content creators um doing that, but also it's like mm, like every day like it seemed like you be vacuuming up like well if they have kids and stuff i understand it but like i'm i ain't i'm kidless you know i barely make a mess so it's like i would be scraping the bottom of the freaking barrel trying to figure out content so like i like to not have youtube like put me in this box but with Christmas last year, I was uh, decorating and making like little um, wreaths and stuff for the doors and stuff. But this year, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. But I really want to at the same time. But I have uh, I have the tree that I had from last year, but I. I brought that in 2019 around Black Friday. And what else? I have that tree. But I also, before that, I have like a tabletop tree that is white. And I was like, man, maybe I should just put up the small one and and go from there. But then I'm thinking, now I'm thinking the more I thought about it. Because it's been like a few hours now. I'm like, well, maybe I should just do both of them because the tree, the big tree is not going to fit in the living room. Um, it's not going to be in the living room this year. So I'm not sure. So I'm not sure. I got decorations for both of the trees, but then again, I don't know if I want to deal with both of them. But I'm I'm thinking about putting the white one up. But if I put the white one up, it will be in the living room on one of the end tables. Yeah. But then the white one, I have to deal with lights and putting lights on it. And I have to deal with finding some decorations that's not going to drag it and make that's why i brought the big tree so <laughs> i didn't have to i can just throw like a whole bunch of decorations on the tree and stuff like that um so it's crazy because i'm like er everybody done had their tree up and i would have been put my tree up but i was going through so much at the end of november most people done put it up like beginning of november but um, I, I just don't know. Like, I was going through so much stuff and then at the end of November. And then, like, coming into December, I was trying to work on those personal, personal goals that I was telling y'all about. 
and it's just like, mm, like, I don't know, but I'm thinking about putting the white one up, um, by the time y'all see this video, I'll be done, made my decision, and probably took y'all into the storage room, <laughs> and showed y'all, like, all that freaking stuff that I have, like, I brought so much stuff that was left over from last year, that I refused to pay for decorations and stuff, even though, it's always, um, like, I wanted some different, like, um, ornaments. I wanted some green ornaments, or I wanted something that was, like, totally different from the normal, um, type of Christmas tree, but, uh, I'm not finna buy ornaments, even though I can just go, well, I don't know. I was trying to avoid, like, the red and greens of, like, Christmas colors. But my color, my favorite color is, like, different aspects of, well, yeah, different aspects of green and, um, maybe a little touch of blue. Because, like, it goes from green all the way down to, like, an aqua color. So, I say that my favorite color is in the middle. Cause like, I can fool with teal. I can fool with teal, but um, like most of the time, I will say my favorite color is green. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm sticking to. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm I'm I don't know if I want to fool with decorations because just like I said last time last year, I put the tree up by myself. Like and then, I think. I didn't take it down, and it's like, it's just me, like, me, <laughs> like, I would be putting it up, and then I'll be taking it down, and I'll just be doing it for me, like, nobody else, other than y'all watching, um, so, I don't know, it's, it's crazy, because it it just don't it feel like and then I was thinking about like man if I do this rebuilding process and you know get myself together I'll probably end up just getting a whole different tree and like I really feel like <laughs> my rebuilding process should start with all new stuff all new stuff like don't take nothing but then I'm like it doesn't make sense. I spend I spend my hard working hard earned money working and um putting into that like I you know, I'm trying to leave everything. Everything. I don't I don't even know why. <laughs> like I don't have no like other than me wanting to start with something new, start with something different. Like, I don't know why I would leave, like, all my stuff. But, yeah, um, today is gonna be a crazy day. Um, I gotta come back. I'm gonna edit some of this video down by the time, um, these people come with my package. I was gonna sit out here, but it's really cold. It's 53 outside. It's not that bad. But, um, you like just sitting out there with like a light jacket on. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. You have to wear layers out here because the water is so freaking bipolar. And then once you, I seen somebody with just <laughs> a shirt and the freaking pants on, like right after the storm, like you're crazy because it was super cold i had on a hoodie and a and like a um a coat with like the fur in on the inside like Hi. you're it's my little dimple i got two in the same cheek and this one just like cut like a little dimple process is boring.
tell like I'm I'm pay I I can patiently wait on stuff, and I have so much pay. I guess my patience ends with like kids. <laughs> it ends with kids because like I have so much patience with kids and stuff like that. But then this this type of stuff of being in a waiting period and all this other stuff. I can't deal. I can't deal with it. I'm gonna go fix my uh, my eyebrows. Cause when I come back, I'll probably be looking different. I hate my eyebrows right now. I don't know if that's what's off or what, but I'm gonna go fix those. <laughs> <sighs> And I'm probably finna get on Instagram for a minute. I ain't even gonna post nothing today, you guys. I don't know. I feel so different today. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should go try it again. That's probably what I need to do. <laughs> go try it again and see how it comes out, but... I honestly like I can't even like my maturity level has gone through the roof of how I deal with stuff I ain't been saying nothing to nobody I just been quiet <laughs> quiet because if I would have said something Saturday man and Sunday, I, I completely... What did I do Sunday? I recorded a little bit Sunday. And then I... I edited and then that was it. Like, and Sunday, I really wasn't going to do anything. But then I was like, well, let me create content because that's... That's really, like, what I, what I started what I start for and then you know not gonna finish or barely be there so I was doing what I needed to do Sunday even though normally on Sunday I do not do anything so yeah I don't know what what is different. <laughs> it gotta be the eyebrows. I didn't do them like I did them yesterday. I guess I go fix them and then eat something. I don't even like I don't even got the taste for anything. And be listening out for this package to come. Cause even though I'm waiting on this package, I don't mean I gotta sit out here. <laughs> well, I'll see y'all when I get this package and everything. Okay, so I need to sit up. Um, you guys, I got my package, and I straight up just use a nail file for this, but I've been waiting since the freaking 11th for this package. good to get something new but then on the other hand it's like I shouldn't have to like I shouldn't even have to do this like it, it doesn't make sense to me like the the whole like you went that far or whoever or whatever you went that far the, the fact that I have to get 
something completely new when I wasn't even ready for it. But, um, yeah, uh, so I've been waiting on this for a couple days now. And it's nothing fancy because it ain't even like the 13 or nothing like that. I didn't really want to go back to iPhone because I had so many problems with the one I'm recording on now. But at the same time, I didn't want to just flat out go to something to where I would have to just buy it and like... Like, I don't understand the whole, like, we done got so far in the world that we are actually making payments on phones. And I didn't want to get to that place. And I was like, you know what? I did drop uh, too much money on this phone. Way, way, way too much money. But at the same time, I needed it because of my other, well, this phone situation. And the fact that it doesn't hold space and stuff like that even though that's easily fixed if it would act right but then once it get full of space well the space is taken up it doesn't act right so yeah a new phone it is I got black but I wanted the green one the green one was available when I woke up <laughs> <laughs> to order the phone the green one was available during the day and then I waited until like later that evening night to order the phone and then the black one was only available and I was like you know what I should have woke up and went ahead and got that phone because I would have had the color I wanted But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. So, new iPhone. Yeah, this, this is going to be the game changer. Because I know for sure, for sure, like, I get calls but it's mostly family and stuff so now I'm gonna know for sure like what people energy on like and most of my contacts from this phone that I'm recording on is not gonna be transferred to this phone and you know I have so much stuff on this phone that I really like it's nothing wrong with the phone I really 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 don't want to uh, transfer anything other than the freaking number I get my app spec I'll get all my logins like that's you know I'll that's fine but other than I don't want to transfer anything nothing and you know like when I have dreams or something and some or yeah if I have dreams or if something like that and I just write and in the phone and I have other stuff in the phone that just like memories and stuff that I be wanting to keep that can that can be uh, gone down the drain too I just don't like I don't understand I really don't understand like I just really spent some money on something that I shouldn't even have to go through like but at the same time I know I'll get it back so yeah new phone I will be recording on this but then again I might just factory reset my um, old phone factory reset my old phone completely and we'll go from there and stuff like that and it'll just be my phone to where I can record on maybe I don't know at this point <laughs> but we'll see so that's what I was waiting on you guys
a new phone. I don't want to go to the 13. I want to switch from iPhone completely. But, you know, that's fine for right now. The iPhone 11 is not that me is not that old at all. But iPhone make you feel like it's all dead old because